Hello guys and welcome to my video. I'll be teaching you how to install Diablo 3 on Ubuntu today. Basically what you want to do first is jump on the Ubuntu Software Center and install something called Play on Linux. So there'll be an install button there, click it and it uh, will install. After that you want to check your drivers now generally you're not going to have any drivers in this list if you've got a new card so in order to get the new card showing like it is here you'd want to go to other software click add to add a repository I think that's what they call it and you want to get the PPA for Xorg I'll put that in the description so you go click and add source and you'll see it down here. Now straight after doing that you want to close this window and just type up click on software updates and run an update to just update all the sources. After that's done you want to go back to your drivers and this list will load. Now I started with the uh, 340 driver but now I'm using the 349. I basically cycled through them um, testing each one, 349 seems to work okay. So you want to jump onto the Battle.net website next and grab the Diablo 3 install file. So just grab the Windows file there, download it and it will go into your downloads folder. Now you just want to open up Play on Linux and click install. This list will load and then you can click games. Just type in Diab and you'll see Diablo 3 there. Click install and uh, it'll show up with this window. So you won't have Diablo 3 sitting there like I do because I've already installed it. So you click next, use a file on the computer, browse, and jump to your downloads folder, click on Diablo 3, open, next. Now it might ask you to install uh, different fonts and whatnot, just say yes, you don't want to have any issues. Now I don't want to overwrite my Diablo 3, it's all updated, so I'll leave that there, but it's the general installer, it all comes up click next 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 um, if you have any issues just change the driver down with the uh, driver menu I showed you before once it finishes installing you will have a desktop icon just double click it oops I left it open one sec I just close that so yeah, you just double click it, it'll take a little bit to load. Now you'll be confronted with the regular Battle.net screen, so just do the, I'd really recommend just doing the download, downloading all the files. I'm playing PTR at the moment, so we'll go to that one. So let it all download, walk away, have a coffee, whatever come back and then uh, click play. Now you'll have issues if you try and run it uh, in the orange but once it's gone to you know, green it should be fine. Some of the issues I was encountering while it was um, half downloading was I'd zone into an area and it would just crash. So it's best to let it download first and then start playing. But uh, since I've had it installed, no issues. I've been using it for about a month now. So I thought I'd um, let people know. I'm getting a fairly good uh, frame rate too.
It works in uh, full screen and windowed. Just playing around with some builds here. But you get the drift. Seems to be lagging a bit because I'm um, recording the desktop. Well, thank you for watching the video and have a great night, or great day.